Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change negative numbers to red in Google Sheets. So if you're an Excel user, you've probably noticed that you could right-click on a cell and format it and change the uh, formatting to where it'll show the negative numbers in red. So you could do the same thing in Google Sheets. So we're going to show you two ways to do it. And you'll probably just end up using one of the ways because it seems to be a little easier to use. So the first way, we'll show you the uh, more difficult way. So you want to highlight the cells you want to apply it to. And go to Format number and then you could go to custom number format and then you can see I have this guy here that I put in the box here as text so if you put in there and click apply that'll change negative numbers to red just like that and if you don't like it you could obviously just clear it out by going back in there you know, change it to zero or whatever so the other method is to do the same thing, highlight the cells. This time go to Format and Conditional Formatting, so this way it's a little better. And so you have your range selected, and if you want to pick if not empty, and click on that and change it to less than zero. So anything less than zero will show up as negative, and you can see it already applied the default color here. So you could change the color of the fill, so if you want the uh, box itself to be red, you could do that. Or you could just change that to none and change the text to be red. So the same thing we did in the other method, you could do it right here. But instead of just red, you could pick other colors too. So put it back to red. And then you could also do, you know, bold if you want. And you could fill the cell if you really want to make things stand out. So that's the preferred method, I think, because you have a little more flexibility of how you can control it. And then you close it out. And if you want to change it back or remove it, just go back to conditional formatting and you'll have a little trash can there. Click on that and then it clears the formatting. So once again, two different ways to do it, but I, like I said, you probably want to use the conditional formatting, but I'll put this in the description in case you want to be the you know custom guy there and, and apply that to your cells instead. And then uh, you'll have some uh, negative numbers in red or other colors. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.